the rules. I promised you I would look deeper into this book and I did and it's been very enlightening. For those of you who don't know, this was Meghan Markle's go-to dating handbook in her high school years. According to Ninaki Pretty, her childhood friend, she could quote whole passages from this book and it's been a journey, I've got to tell you. Now, it's basically a whole book about playing hard to get, subverting your personality, almost to the point of being a robot or a Stepford wife. But <laughs> evidently, it's very successful because they guarantee you that if you follow the rules, that you will always be successful. Now, they gave an interview on the eve of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding, and they said that Meghan Markle played her part perfectly to snare a prince. I don't think that Meghan would have liked that interview very much. Also, they implied that she followed the golden rule when you meet famous people to pretend not to know who they are. So I was excited to dive in because I thought, well, if she followed it perfectly, she must have followed heaps of the rules. Well, I couldn't find anything that was, there was a few that sort of matched up, but there was a lot that didn't. And I thought, what, was she doing opposite day or something? Was she doing like that Seinfeld episode where George does everything the opposite way that he normally does in order to be successful? Because it wasn't matching up. And I thought, well, this is no good. This is not going to be a video. And then I realized that she said they followed the rules that are pertaining to the part of the book that is if you meet a celebrity or a famous person, chapter 13. So I've got them up here on my iPad and I'm going to go through that specific chapter because then they started to correlate. Now you tell me if I miss out anything that I think of in relation to Megan's behavior in relation to these rules because I may leave stuff out, who knows. And also, if you think of anything you disagree with or anything, just leave it in the comments down below because I'm doing this on the fly. Okay, so rule number one is when you meet that big famous celebrity, gee, I must be excited. I've fogged up my glasses. One, take a deep breath. That's what I need to do. And stay composed. Well, she always did come across as fairly composed, I would think. Two, treat him as you would any other man, not the movie star or the business tycoon that he is or the prince. <laughs> you know what? I think she did or she, she played that she did because when I saw in the doco when she made out because he was running late for that first drink that, you know, she thought, well, you know, are you going to get here? I'm not going to hang around much longer. I wouldn't normally hang around for much longer. You know, I'm, I'll just go if you can't respect me enough to be on time. She played all that thing in the doco. And I thought, yeah, sure, Megan, <laughs> you were not going to get up from that couch. You were not going to leave no matter how late he was. Who are you kidding? Three, do not stare at him. Oh, she stares. Now there's the stares that are the adoring stares. She did an adoring stare at the Women of Vision Awards in the gold dress before they went in for the awards. Harry was sort of looking straight ahead and she was doing the adoring doe eyes up at him just begging him to look at her adoringly back. And he didn't. Mm, very telling. She wanted the whole, you know, the Hollywood celebs on the red carpet. She probably wanted, that's one thing, I don't know about you, I love Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, but when they're on the red carpet, it's like, oh, stop it with the lovey-dovey stuff. It's too lovey-dovey. <laughs> I like a little bit of lovey-dovey. That's nice because you think, oh, they're really in love. But too much, it's like, oh. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. A little bit's nice, though. I like a little bit. Uh, four, do not light up or act giddy as if you've won the lottery. <laughs> oh, she lit up. Definitely lottery win. 
So, so far, there's four rules I don't think she's really, <laughs> she's really done, except number two. Number five. Now, this one, she did. Act as if you've been out of the country for the last three years and you're not quite sure who he is, even if he's just been on the cover of People magazine. Oh, she did that one. She definitely did that one. And it's interesting that she did that one with Violet. When Violet said, oh, it's Prince Has. And she said, who's Prince Has? Yeah, right, Megan. Inside you were going, yes, yes, I've done it. I've done it. I finally, finally got there. It's taken since 2013, but I dedicated myself. Who's Prince has? Yeah. And then she said, oh, well, he wants to know if you want to meet him. Is he kind? Oh, yeah, I'm so cynical, aren't I? Six, don't ask for his autograph. Well, no. Seven, don't compliment him. Oh, she never stopped complimenting him in the in the first flush of love. It was constant. Eight, don't show any interest in his career. Hmm, that's debatable because one could say she didn't show any interest in him being a working royal because she put an end to that pretty fast. So maybe she didn't follow that one. Oh, but she pretended to act all philanthropic and like she was going to be Diana 2.0 and like they were going to solve all the world's problems together. So maybe he, she did show interest, yeah. Nine, if you're an aspiring actress, do not ask for an audition. <laughs> that could be. They could be taken another way. Ten, do not ask him to do you a favour such as donate money to your favourite charity. Well, Archwell didn't exist then, but I'm sure if it had, she probably would have. Eleven, act interested but not spellbound. Leave him alone. After five minutes of conversation about whatever he wants to talk about, say, oh, look at the time, I must leave now. Nice meeting you and walk away. Well, the first meeting was two and a half hours, so she wasn't going to do the five-minute thing. No, no, she wasn't going to risk that. Twelve, do not seem impressed by his limousine or entourage or maybe even his security detail. Thirteen, once you're dating a celebrity, don't see him whenever and wherever it's convenient for him because he has a busy schedule. Well, she always came over to Harry. And actually, she invented a new rule. They should put the Megan rule in the next update of the book. Because the Megan rule was, after they went to Botswana, before they left each other at the end of that trip, she said, well, if we're going to make a go of this, we have to meet at least every two weeks. And Harry said, but we can't. How can I? With my busy schedule, how can I possibly do that? He was probably screamingly trying to get out of it. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Please, please. It's too much. I'm, I feel suffocated. And she said, well, I'll come to you. And I thought about that and I thought that was a really great strategy because when you're only just starting to go out with somebody, if you've got booked ahead every two weeks that you're coming because you're on a break from filming your mini series, well, oh, sorry, drama series, it wasn't a mini series. Well, that sort of ties him in before he knows whether he wants to be tied in because she could have had <laughs> flights booked all through the next six months of filming. Couldn't she? Interesting. Interesting. If you want to catch a prince, also be in a drama series that you can only come every two weeks. Um, it's tempting to drop your friends and family. <laughs> I, I haven't read these. It's tempting to drop your friends and family. And make your whole life, <laughs> I've got to finish this, I've got to finish this. Make your whole life revolve around 
but you must still live your own life and see him for two or three times a week until he proposes. But <laughs> she dropped her friends and family after he proposed. I don't think that she read the rule properly. She needed to put her glasses on. Maybe they're fogged up like mine. 15. If he's widely popular, expect that other women might write to him, call him or throw themselves at him, like that Sarah Macklin, although he chased her. Do not get angry or show jealousy or insecurity. Do not be possessive in public. What? Are they talking about the handhold and the rubbing of the back? And the claw. <laughs> so far she hasn't passed any of these. I don't know how she, you know what? Alan Fane and Sherry Schneider were lying in the interview. Oh, okay, I can't say that. They were a bit inaccurate in their interview on the wedding eve to plug their book. Because so far there's not many. Right. 16. Be discreet. Do not call the tabloids and tell them you're dating. Oh, no, 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 no. No, just put two bananas on the tig or a little heart-shaped lolly with kiss me on it or drop a million hints or <laughs> sit having a Vanity Fair interview until the reporter finally asks you. I can't talk about that right now. This time's for us. But I will say we're in love. And make sure you get I'm Just Wild About Harry on the front page and then pretend that you're upset about it because that pretty much locked him in, that did. And 17, don't try to become too friendly with his staff. Well, she did follow that rule and the Sussex Survivors Club would attest to the fact that Megan definitely followed rule number 17 for celebrities. So <laughs> I hope you found that entertaining. If you can think of any new rules that Megan actually invented, then please put them in the comments down below because we want to help out the authors when they do. They might do a Megan update, how to, the rules, how to catch a prince. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.